What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more AFK Journey, and today we are going to find the new best team that has to do with Vala. Yesterday you guys saw Vala was crazily out damaging the core, and however, our team composition was a little tricky. So what we're going to be doing is mixing this up just a little bit, and instead of Smokey, we're actually going to go back to one of the heroes we talked about day one with Lucius. So now we're going to have multiple shielding heroes. We have Corrin's shielding, we have Lucius. Lucius shielding, which again, remember, Lucius also has his season ability just like uh, Scarleta that increases haste and then also increases the damage towards the end of the battle. What this also does is it gives us our faction bonus back because we had lost it running the Smokey. We're still going to run Coco because, of course, at Mythic Plus, we need her fluffy shield. Like, it just needs to happen. So I'm guessing this is going to be one of the best team setups we can do. Kind of want to put Coco closer so that maybe Lucius can hit her as well with his shields. And the extra shielding should help. We won't have as much healing necessarily. Uh, and beyond that, we did get some more magic charms here as well. So uh, we got one extra one on the Vala. And I think we got something. Oh, man, we're still missing one on our Corrin, sadly. So magic charms not working out exactly how we want. But I think this team right here, linking the Vala, should work. Let's jump in, hopefully with Evocation Spell Artifact as well. We can keep our team alive. Let's see how this turns out. Loss of shields immediately at the beginning of battle. We get our damage reduction right away. And having Lucius right there at the front too, giving tons of shielding should be good because he casts his ultimate a ton. And as you guys can see, putting Coco closer to the group of heroes is good because that means Lucius will always hit all the heroes with his shielding, which I'm hoping gives us the survivability to get a brand new record here. I'm thinking it can. And if this works, I might mix things up with the artifact we're using as well. Uh, Vala and Corrin still doing pretty good. So far, our health looks good. This is the big burst, and Vala does die once again even though she's linked to the thorn which is just crazy to think that this has happened i can't believe it's actually happening she's getting like 50 percent damage reduction but she's getting just absolutely nuked by this boss here down goes coco and this is like yeah this 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 is not working out to our advantage here we might have to try something else to keep our team alive because that type of damage number is not working out for us. Even though when we look at this, Vala is going to do a ton of extra damage here. Look at the damage she had. So there's a couple things we can try doing here. And one of them is going to be completely dropping, I think, Corrin out of the mix. And instead, running... Where are you? Rhineer. So I want to give extra damage reduction here. And I want my team set up to still be this positioning. Well, I kind of want to put you like closer. The only bad part here is the fact that Lucius is going to have a hard time hitting Rhineer and everybody else. But I'm hoping with the extra damage reduction from Rhineer, this could potentially be the better combo. Again, I don't know if we're going to be able to afford to keep Corn in this lineup because, well, we just need to try to keep this hero alive as long as possible because Vala in half the battle is doing the same amount of damage as Corn in the entire battle. So if it means we're just running a single damage dealer, so be it. Let's see how this actually turns out. She's basically spamming her ultimate. And again, this strategy only works when the boss has less than 50% HP with Vala. Uh, Vala will stay at ranged if that is not the case. So she's just taking so much damage. It's crazy. This is going to be the part right here. Then, When the beetle goes up in the air, this is going to be the, the telltale if she's going to survive or not. Oh, she survived. Oh my gosh, she survived. <laughs> that was normally where she dies right there, is that big AoE burst. But with the extra damage reduction from Rhineer, she just barely, barely survived that. So let's see what our damage number goes to now. I'm hoping that means we get a new record. This one could be sketchy too. Oh, we lost our support heroes and then we lost the Vala. Man, as much as I want Vala to work, she's just too squishy. We're literally investing everything into this Vala, but as far as going for like the tippy top peak score, I don't know if it's going to work. For for like the early game, I know a lot of people are having a ton of luck with their Vala, but this just is not working out for us. She's just standing way too close to the enemy and she's just getting completely murked. <sighs> The only other thing I could think is maybe running like a Freesto over Rhineer because again, Freesto has something similar. 
The problem is we can't link her up to both Freisto and the Thorin here. The Thorin link is what should be taking 50% of that damage here. If we can't get her to work, I mean, it doesn't matter how much damage she's doing. If, she, if she's simply not surviving, that's not good. Now, there is something else we could try. We could try running something like Quick Blade Spell as well, because that's going to give a ton of extra defense to our team, which might be the difference. So again, I hate how we can only do three attempts a day, but we're going to have to try this one more time. I, I think this is going to be the team that works. The Lucius, I really wanted to go like with an offensive setup and try Star Shard Spell, but I think we just need the built-in defenses, really. And should we even do light heal spell? I feel like Quick Blade should work good. And Quick Blade synergizes with her as well. Let's give this a try because, again, that extra magic defense and physical defense could be really, really good for her. So one more try. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping we can survive long enough. It's crazy how my first day is still my best record so far. It's just kind of triggering that we can't keep these heroes alive. And the one big issue, too, is where the Lucius is hitting. See, Lucius hit the ranged heroes that time, and it's leaving the front line a little vulnerable that's the only downside of running the Reinier is the shielding from Lucius becomes a lot less reliable here here's this one here so this one should be fine she's got the damage reduction she's going to get tons of shielding here Coco again puts up that damage reduction it's just the fact that she's dead front of the target she's the main target of the crystal beetle is our biggest issue here I guess we could try to position her in a different spot, but man, Coco went really low right there. This is going to be the make it or break it right here. This next time the beetle goes into the air, we need to make sure we have damage reduction. We need to make sure we have shielding up. We need everything up. So big shield, damage reduction. Come on, Lucius. Lucius, Lucius, hurry up. Oh my gosh, she almost died, but she's still alive. 20 seconds to go. Um, the Ryanair went down. We don't really care about that as much. She doesn't get a crazy high amount of healing from... Um, Reinier it's still a ton but the fact that oh no another hit and then one more ultimate it's not quite enough to get us a new record even um so as good as a damage dealer as she is I feel like because you have to tweak the team a lot we just were not getting the damage output that we normally would which is crazy because I see people running the same team now that we talked about it and they're doing so much more damage like it's crazy but that is a ton that's that's way more than corn would be doing and again, we're just going to have to keep testing this throughout the days and see what we can get done. But you can see I hit 26 with my Freesto Corrin team like on day one or something. Something's happening with like the haste or something that's not working out for us. And just remember, this is because we're in the district and our district has a crazy amount of Megalodons here. So uh, Vala is a valid strategy. Is she the best strategy? I don't know. But she is working very, very strongly for us. We'll just see if we can actually make her work in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.